The year 2020 will be remembered for a plethora of reasons as the world battled the coronavirus pandemic. On the one hand, the climate catastrophe has also continued unabated. The European Union's Climate Service has reported that 2020 was the joint hottest year on a record along with the year 2016. So indeed, so Copernicus data, which tends to be the first global data set to come out uh, at the end of every year, shows that uh, 2020 was virtually tied with 2016, the previously warmest on, on record. Um, and how does that fit with a longer term warming trend? So of course, we know that temperatures globally have increased by over a degree since the pre-industrial area, uh, mainly driven by uh, global uh, by greenhouse gas emissions as emitted by humans. Now, the impact of climate change continues to intensify across the world. Despite less fossil fuel burning recorded due to coronavirus-induced lockdowns, 2020 stands neck and neck with the year 2016 for setting new record highs of extreme temperatures worldwide. This despite an absence of an El Nino event, a climatic phenomenon which has a warming effect. In contrast, there was an El Nino event that was reported in 2016 as well. After an exceptionally warm winter and autumn in Europe, the continent experienced its hottest year on record in 2020. While well, the Arctic suffered extreme heat and atmospheric concentrations of planet warming carbon dioxide continued to rise. And this resulted in extensive wildfires in the region with the fires poleward of the Arctic Circle releasing a record 244 million tons of carbon dioxide in 2020. And over a third more than 2019, Arctic Ice continued to deplete with July 2020 and October 2020 both setting records for the lowest sea ice extent in those months over the years. Separately, the British Met Department has said that it expects carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere this year to pass the milestone of being about 50% higher than before. The Industrial Revolution changed 417 parts per million between April and June when seasonal carbon dioxide levels peak. This is underscoring the efforts taken by the nation in the wake of the Parisian Agreement. The Paris Accord aims to cap the rise of temperatures to well below 2 degrees Celsius and as close as possible to about 1.5 degrees Celsius to avoid the most devastating impact of climate change. I got a question by someone else, you know, should we lose, lose hope if a year like COVID year doesn't even help? But the, the answer is that it's not, it has happened helped this is just that it's not visibly helped because you're not expecting that to be visible until you have several of those years which in the end will make a difference co-presented by skoda simply clever beyond is now available in your country download the app now and get all the news on the move